Ohio State played a little national championship a couple years ago. And uh, we've been able to play with those teams. We've been able to play with the top teams in the RMAC, uh, beat some of them. And uh, we know that just week to week, we're going to be facing a very high level when it comes to athletic, uh, the athletic ability of the players and uh, the coaching ability of the players, so uh, the coaching uh, ability that we're going to see. So it's just going to be the week to week. Uh, and there are no weeks off that we're going to uh, see. Let's meet Alfonso Wilson. Alfonso is a senior defensive back from San Diego, California. Alfonso, last year you led the team in tackles for loss. You had 13 stops behind the line. What is the key for you getting behind the line and making a play? Just don't second guess myself and just go full speed. Now coming into a new conference, I know you've probably looked at the schedule and probably wondered about the schedule, but is there a particular game you're looking forward to playing? No, not at all. I'm just ready to get out there and play every single game. Let's so move on down the line, Xavier Ayers, wide receiver, senior from Albuquerque. Uh, last year you ranked fifth in all of NCAA Division II with 1,356 receiving yards. You also had a career high of 250 against Colorado Mines. Tell us a little bit about that game against Mines. Um, well, the Colorado State Mines game, uh, it was really, that was the first game that my mom has been able to catch. My whole career. So uh, the first half, I was real frustrated. I don't know if I had any catches uh, in the first half, you know. And I felt like I was trying to force myself to get catches, get touches, you know, to show out for my family that had showed up. But you know, in the second half, I just calmed myself down, and, you know, kind of let the game come to me instead of forcing myself on the game. You know, you can't do that as a wide receiver. So in the second half, you know, I came out and exploded with a few big catches. And kind of just added up. So the bulk of those 250 came in two quarters. Yes, sir. <laughs> Holy cow. Coach, let's come back to you. You kind of addressed it earlier, but just give us your thoughts on playing the Lone Star Conference schedule. Um, again, it's no week to week. We've got to come out and be ready to play. We've got to be consistent. Uh, I think we built the program to a point where we show we can compete with the top division two programs. We just know every single week we're going to have to come out and give our best. And if our guys come out and give their best effort, I think we'll have the opportunity each week to come out with a W. Well, gentlemen, we appreciate you joining us today. And best of luck in 2016. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, so it's your first year in the league, but what do you know about most our conference football so far? Um, I know it's a very competitive conference, and I feel like we can play with anybody in the conference. So you're new to the league. What do what do Lone Star Conference fans need to know about Western New Mexico football? That we're very competitive, and we have just as much time as any in the conference. Last year you had a good year on defense. What makes you effective as a playmaker? I'm just being, keeping my poise and you know just flying to the ball. And finally, uh, have you made plans for after college at this point? Oh yes, um, I'm going to chase the dream of going to the NFL and playing on the next level. And if that doesn't work, um, I'm just going to be a, C um, a CPA, a big firm. Awesome. Thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it. You led your team in receiving last year, and you got a new quarterback. What's it take to build passer-receiver chemistry? Uh, well, you know, it takes a lot of out-of-season work, you know, summer workouts, getting on the field, you know, twice a day. Uh, just trying to get that connection in with your, with your quarterback and playing and putting in that extra work. In the, in the offseason, what were some of the goals specifically as an offense you made this year? Um, as an offense, you know, we had a, we got a new offensive coordinator, so uh, getting a feel out for, you know, the, the new coordinator, the new quarterback is coming in. Uh, we also have a, a pretty fresh uh, wide receiver core, uh, me being the, the veteran on the, on the field. Uh, main adjustments is just, you know, getting to know the offense a little better, you know, staying in the playbook and continuing to work hard, you know, on the field and off the field in the weight room and stuff like that. Lone Star Conference fans, you go to Silver City, New Mexico this year, where do they need to eat? Um, I'd say, I'd say go to Wranglers and get some hot wings, man. Can't go wrong with hot wings. <laughs> and what are your plans as a senior after college? Um, you know, first thing is get my degree, make sure, you know, I finish school. I'm an art major, so, you know, I want to, you know, go as far as I can with that. And at the same time, you know, find the right agent for myself and, you know, if the opportunity comes, be ready when it presents itself. Thank you very much. Thank you.